Okay, I hope you can hear me. I'll talk close to the <clears throat> camera. The air conditioner is running in the cold room, so I'll move away from that. I wanted to do, it's a really nice morning to do a garden tour because it's really cloudy. And actually, we had a little sprinkle right before this. Uh, so the garden is not... You know what, I say the garden's not doing that well, but I mean, if you look on to the right, okay, this half of the garden seems to be doing pretty well, but that half of the garden is like, just didn't show up this year. So I'm just gonna, I just really struggled with getting things started. It was so cool and wet this spring and things just did not go. I must have replanted, I bet I've replanted every single thing in this garden like three times, except for the onions and the potatoes and the tomatoes but tomatoes just sat there for like two months I swear and just did nothing um, now two months okay one month anyway so let's get started real quick this hopefully this won't take too long okay this is something new I'm trying these are a dry bean it's a dry bush what they says Jacob's cattle I think dry bush bean so you let they have nice looking pods on them. Let me get close. They, they look like they are doing well that way. And then you let them, you let them dry and then you collect the beans to use as dry beans. So I've actually never grown dry beans before, so I was excited to try them. So that actually looked like they, they're doing okay. So happy about that. Up in the cow tank, okay, let me tell you the sunflowers, these are all volunteers. You'll see some other ones. These are just, you know, I compost everything and so these seeds must have just escaped and in, in the areas where you see the sunflowers are places where I added compost um, and so I just let them go I think I only took out a couple but I that was another thing that was a complete failure this year I could not get my sunflowers to grow thank goodness I wasn't planning on selling any this year I had made that decision last fall it's just too much work so I tried something new and it, you know what it just didn't work so next year I'll go back to my old method and get some sunflowers growing but we'll at least have some for save them for the chickens and some of them are really big I mean look at this this is huge obviously I have one that's even bigger than that um all right let's get back to the garden okay beets and some cantaloupes I already have harvested a ton of beets out of here and I put them in the root cellar. I love the root cellaring technique. Last year I canned a bunch of beets. I pickled some for me. Henry doesn't like pickled beets and I canned beets for him and we still have some in the shelf so I guess that's good but you know what it is just so much easier to do the root cellaring. Just pull them out. I throw them in some damp sand and put them in the cool room and that's it. You know no heating up the kitchen no then you just you know process you know skin them and everything as you use them and no getting your hands all purple <laughs> anyway I am just really into the uh, root cellar this here's the carrot bed again I already went through here and pulled out a bunch of carrots so these were just some of the baby carrots that were left I'm just gonna just fresh eat those and again more cantaloupe these look like they're doing great huh I mean, there's lots of vines there anyway, a type of cantaloupe or honeydew. So, but they're just, go they're just so late and taken off. I'm not sure if we'll even, oh, there's a baby one. I'm not sure if we're going to actually get anything or not, but I'm just praying for a really late frost. Here's my lettuce and radish bed and you can see some things are going to seed and that's fine. That's what I want. There's my mushroom bed that actually died. I, it was, got too wet, believe it or not. So, again, the spring, it was so wet. It just actually killed, it went aerobic, anaerobic, it went anaerobic, no oxygen, it just died. But you'll see, here's one of the mushrooms. It's over here. So, you know, there's, obviously, there's mycelium in all these wood chips. So I actually bought new mycelium, so I'm re trying to get this bed restarted. So this is what they said to do. You have to put different layers of wood chips. There's cardboard, and then some of the mycelium, and wood chips, and more cardboard, and more mycelium and wood chips and then you put some straw on top hey whatever so uh yes we're gonna have some nice lettuce seed i even let the radishes going to seed here a little bit see if we can get some of that what do we also got here onions the onion story 
Uh, I ordered, I ordered onions from this place. Here's a summer squash. I order onions, here's lettuces, and some garlic was in here, and watermelon, obviously, and an eggplant. This eggplant looks like it's doing pretty good. More lettuce going to seed. Uh, I order onions from this place, and they just send you, like, two, it's like two bunches. I got red onions, here's red ones, and then white onions down there. Last year, I ordered two bunches. I need to pull these things out. This is one reason I want to do the garden tour now, because I'm getting ready to pull these out. And it filled one and a half of these beds. There's, this is three four by eight beds, all packed with, with onions. So last year I only had one and a half beds and we had plenty of onions for the whole year. And look at the size. So I, this is one thing that did grow. Oh my God, look at these. They're like bigger than softballs. So they're, so that's one thing that did good. There's also celery in here. The bugs are starting to eat them on the celery. So I'm going to start maybe collecting some of that too. So what I did was like, I just didn't have any room for the celery at first in the garden. So wherever an onion didn't grow, I just would plant celery. <laughs> so that's why there's celery mixed in with the onions there. So I and I'm going totally going to make some pickled onions with these red onions. They're not known to, to keep very well, but these white variety, it's supposed to be yellow. They look white to me, but there's, they're ones that keep, I think that's Copa. They're called COPA and they're meant to keep. So they'll probably be good for that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, let me finish up here. Uh, anything else exciting here? No, cantaloupe, this eggplant can't not, just won't go. There's a better eggplant, some watermelon. I think I have a little baby watermelon here. So, and these are baby watermelons, so they won't get very big. Okay, so brassicas was a total, wasn't a total loss. You could see I got some cabbage going, but as far as broccoli and cauliflower, they just would not, they would just not go. They just didn't go. So we've got lots of kale, so that's good, and we're gonna have some cabbage. Uh, this is green beans, and they are still, they're just starting to flower. So hopefully, and this is August, you know, uh, hopefully we'll be getting green beans soon. Here's peppers, and there's basil. One thing I was so excited to do, to do this year was chard for lettuce. Oh, look, that one's eat, getting eaten up by bugs. But the chard, it just didn't grow either. I think I planted like 24 chard, and I, I can see like two of them here. The bugs just loved them. They would just eat them down to the ground. Oh, I got a basil plant that's doing good here. So, and some, here's a pepper. Oh, there's thunder. Here's a pepper. Okay, so, and I have a lovely chamomile down here. I've been getting flowers off this thing, and look, it's still loaded. Saving those for the girls. Uh, quickly, there's my tire. I think I put a picture of that up last week. There's a food forest in the background there along the, along the fence line. Uh... There's the tomatoes. Oh shoot, I gotta go show you the potatoes. So tomatoes, like they're starting to take off now. Um, here's some cucumbers. But they, like I said, they just sat there forever. So last year I put up like 26 quarts of tomato sauce and there's no way I'm gonna even get a fraction of that this year. Potatoes are doing good. I do the potatoes and the straw bales. I love that method. It's so easy to go in and harvest them. You just like literally tear the bale apart and there's like potatoes everywhere. I have a good feeling about this. I think we're going to have a good potato crop. Okay. Hawks. They like mowed the, the dairy next door and so the hawks are like crazy going after all the rodents. Okay. This is a volunteer... Who knows what this is? Look at it. <laughs> you know, I don't even know if it's a summer squash or a winter squash, but I'm just, I'm treating it like it's a winter squash. You know, when you let things just grow and I plant, I usually have like, oh, at least a dozen different types of squash. But again, I couldn't get the squashes to go. Squashes, is that a word? Spinach that I'm letting to seed out. More radishes. Some nice, more, um sunflowers here. The peas are just doing nothing. There they are. Can you see them? Little pea. I don't know if they're going to take off or not. Some potatoes that are getting totally eaten up. Um, we're almost done, folks. There's a beautiful nasturtium. I've been taking flowers off of there, too. I, I dry the flowers and give them to the, give them to the chickens this winter. There's a borage with the blue flowers. I tried to those things are really stickery, so 
I um I'm not gonna try to get those flowers off. Okay. A uh, little squash. Some finally I'm getting a little zucchini. Here's these are supposed to be snap peas. There's absolutely zero growing there. I mean it's so hot now. I'm gonna replant them here in a bit. Here's my corn. There's no way we're getting any corn this year. <laughs> There's the corn. It's like definitely uh, stunted. Up on the hill, I usually have squash trailing down. <clears throat> Nothing. I planted three up there. None of them grew. Uh, here's the asparagus bed. Oh, here's the little cucumbers. So I, my cuc most of the cucumbers over here. So that's a cucumber. That is a. I don't know what this is. The type. It's probably you know what. Hmm. I don't know what that is. It must be some kind of pumpkin, maybe. Um, because I did put, I know some of these over here were delicata. Look, they're just so stunted. Just nothing. Well, here's some cucumbers. These finally look like they might take off. A little one. But that's, that's pretty much it. That is just very, uh, this is a zucchini. It's like I can't even grow a zucchini <laughs> this year. There, there is like one little zucchini in there I saw earlier when I was looking around. But that's, that's it. It's, you know, it's, it looks pretty, <laughs> it looks good from here, but I just know what I grew last year and it was like so much more. So <clears throat> I didn't, you know, just comparing it to last year, a little disappointing. Another thing I've tried is I, this, this is like beside the garage, right? This is a tough area because it actually... You know, obviously just not going to get morning sun because the sun's coming from this way. And then there's just a little bit of light and then there's trees over here. So it doesn't get a lot of sun. I thought maybe some brassicas would be good over here. And some of them are going. There's a cabbage. There's some kale growing here. But again, the broccoli and the cauliflower just totally didn't make it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area next year. I'm going to raise bed, but this is a sloped area, so it'd have to, it'd have to be like side than the other so that it would be even on the top and just maybe making this all like a lettuce area that might work okay yeah I don't know just some things I'm thinking about so I guess we're gonna have I guess we're just gonna be eating onions this year that's okay I'm really I am excited to, to make the pickled onions so we'll just make do with what we have and uh, go, I have a, there's a local farmer that I sometimes take my duck eggs to her farm stand and I get some, uh, other veggies from her. But, so it wasn't a total loss, but it just wasn't as good as in the past. I think I'm going to make some more raised beds, like what the onions are in. I mean, that was kind of the plan all along. We just keep adding a couple each year. And last fall, we did the strawberry beds, which are out front. And they are doing amazing. So that's good. But this year it's time to add some more raised beds to this garden area. Okay, that's it for now. Look in this, this field behind our house. Even though it look, looks like crap. <laughs> Sorry, farmer. It's, but there's like weeds. I, I've never seen it look this bad. Usually it looks really amazing. But it's struggling too. Uh, so... Anyway, okay, that's it. I got to cut this off and go make a video of the meat chicks now. Okay? Goodbye. Bye, garden.